I've gotten into the habit of listening to podcasts on my evening walk, and last night I threw on an episode of Darknet Diaries. Then this morning I see some absolutely batshit crazy news about exploding pagers across the Middle East. As it stands, over 2,700 people have been injured, eight people killed. Targets appear to be Hezbollah. And after last night's episode of Darknet Diaries, I have no doubt it was an operation by the secretive Unit 2800 of the Israeli military. Because to make hundreds of pagers explode nearly simultaneously over a wide geographical area is some serious Rosh Gadol shit. Now, I planned on making a video about that episode anyway, but today's incident simply made it much more relevant. This is without a doubt a massive terrorist attack. Even though the targets were legitimate military, they were out in public, resulting in injuries of thousands of innocent civilians and the death of at least one eight-year-old girl. Horrific as it is, the InfoSec community is all over this, trying to figure out how this sophisticated attack was executed. Right now, we have concluded so far that it is definitely not a simple malware attack. Batteries simply cannot explode like that. Even lithium ion spicy pillows. They belch smoke and burst fire, but they don't explode. These were outright explosions. Many have concluded it must be a breach of the supply chain or the manufacturing process with a insertion of a small amount of high explosive. Honestly, there are many outfits that could have carried out this attack, but the callousness, indiscriminate public execution of it, and the targets being the number one enemy of Israel all point to Unit 2800. I encourage you to listen to episode 28 of the Darknet Diaries, the 2800, there's some incredible insight into this fiendishly effective military branch. Then, I want you to ask, for a military with this truly astounding amount of capability and operative intelligence, one who has shown stunning capabilities of precision targeting, a single hotel room in Tehran, a single car in Lebanon, why do they have no option but to use 2,000 pound bombs to level entire cities in the Gaza Strip? I don't support either side in this conflict. It's impossible to. But when you inflict massive civilian casualties, all you're doing is keeping the hate going. If you have the ability to be precise, do so. This is a truly terrifying example of cyber warfare. Almost black mirror levels of ingenuity. And to be carried out by an immoral group with such incredible infosec cybersecurity intelligence capabilities makes it even scarier <laughs>